Welcome to Punch TV, I'm Bruce Townhill. Today I'm going to teach you how to choose a kick shield. Now not all kick shields are equal. So I've got three here today to show you and just how different they are. The first one is like an urban shield, this is what we call our urban shield. It's reasonably well made, it's the same quality as our better made shields except there's some differences in its functionality and the materials inside. So this is still a ripstop shield. I've talked about ripstop before. Ripstop vinyl with the uh, lamination webbing through it means you can stab it with a knife and the, the tear won't go any further. No zipper on the outside, extremely important. Nothing to cut your feet or toes, just all hand lace. And then a strap on the back with a handle. That's the basic function of a, of a kick shield or a leg shield. Now, this one is are uh, reasonably small. It's designed to be cheaper on freight to ship. The, the foam density inside is a medium density, which means I'd recommend this for children, youths, uh, probably inexperienced people. This shield would be fine home use. So the starting point for kick shield is your urban shield, a smaller shield by stature. If you look at the, uh, some of the other shields around, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but they really do grow in size and thickness as you get into the higher quality. But just as a general martial arts home training shield, that's a pretty good choice. So, let's go to probably the next most popular shield. We go to a full size shield, which means she's got full height, she's rated. So this, that means this kick shield is rated for people up to 80 kilos. You can actually see it on the bottom here. You won't be able to see it on camera, but there's some printing there saying this is actually pre-tested to be suitable for professional use up to a person, a ring five of about 80 kilos or under. The foam inside is much thicker than the Ermine Shield. It's also high density foam, which makes a big difference to the kick going through the pad. Anyone that's held a kick shield with someone who can kick properly knows the kicks can still hurt you through a shield if the foam isn't good enough. So you have to go to high density foam. You go to a full strap system, same as all the other shields with a padded handle. This one's got a tubing over the handle to stop it rubbing and hand lace down the side again, no zipper but the trick here is the size, the thick, the increased thickness and the high density padding inside. So that's a Group X Trophy Getter Shield, that's our highest selling shield because it simply takes care of pretty well 90% of the, the work in a gym. The big trick with shields too when you're choosing them is make sure you buy enough. If you've got 50 people in your gym and you buy one leg shield, it doesn't matter how well we make it, you're going to break it. It's just like providing one treadmill for 50 people in your gym, they're going to break it. So if you buy a fleet of these, that would be, say, I'd say you need probably uh, one kick shield for every five students, you find they'll last you for years and years and years because the wear will be spread amongst all the shields. So let's go to the last shield. This one here is called a black diamond shield. Now obviously it's all black, it's the same thickness as the Group X Trophy Getter Shield. It's still got the lacing down the side, but it's got a heap of extra features. So as soon as we go to a Black Diamond range, this is designed for serious Muay Thai training or Kyokushin Karate or any of the other martial arts training centers. Straight away, the rating tells you that it's, that it's over 80 kilos, which means that, uh, you can use, that super heavyweights can use this shield. Uh, you still need a bit of skill to hold it. It's got a handle on the bottom so you can do more with it. So it's got one on the back here and then one on the bottom. It's still got the same strap system through here with an extra handle underneath. So it's got extra handles, but there's one extra feature you need to know about when you're choosing a shield. This black diamond shield has what they call an anti-cork barrier, which means the last inch or so of padding here has high density foam on the front, but it has a special EVA layer down the back the same as what we use in our best focus pads. And this anti-cork barrier means the kick can come through the shield and it gets stopped much more effectively by this barrier at the back. So the Black Diamond Shield is really designed specifically for professional use, for big people, and for a lot of use with extra features on it. So just to recap, I'd choose the Black Diamond Shield if I, was, if I had bigger people in my gym, 80 kilos plus, and they all know what they're doing. You go to Black Diamond every time for comfort, for general fitness use, with the odd big person in the class. And as a general workhorse, you can't go past the Group X Fitness Shield, which is a little bit cheaper. And then if you're just on a budget and you want a home training shield, which is a little bit thinner, a little bit smaller and high, but does the job for home training, 
for you and your mates or for kids or I say a, a martial arts school that isn't specialising too much in really high penetration kicking, I'd choose the Urban Shield. So I hope that makes your decision a bit easier. So you've just seen our summary of how to choose a kick shield. As an addition, there is one extra choice that you should be aware of when looking at kick shields, and that is what they call a man shield. Now a man shield is sort of the, the culmination of everything I've just talked about. It's ripstop material, it's hand laced along the bottom here, it's a patent penning design which means it's exclusive to punch equipment, it's got a special face on it. Now this ledge here is very soft and very forgiving and great to punch. So it's a combination of a kick shield and a focus pad or a round shield all in one thing. It's got a very nice ledge underneath here. When you're doing leg kicks, your kicks tend to chop in underneath here and they don't rise up over the shield. So very compact shield, about the same length as an urban shield. But once again, high density foam at the front and then an anti-cork barrier running through the back. So it's got the same features as a black diamond shield. It's got a special strap on the back. The control bar at the top is the same as what you'd find in a tie pad. So you've got that really big thick control pad that fills your hand. And then the Velcro strap on the back here is multi adjustable. So it can be adjusted to strap to your leg. It can be eased out and then you can use it two handed like a lot of people like to do where you've got both forearms through the pad like that or it can be tightened right up and completely put out of the way so you can just hold it down your leg like a normal kick shield. So the man shield, there's a lot of workouts on Punch TV with the man shield for a good reason. It's such a universally uh, just versatile pad to use from kicks to boxing. You can drop it on the ground, you can use it for MMA ground and pound. It's very good to do sit ups and uh, some strength work on. You can use it for push ups in the park. So the whole idea of this man shield is to be the ultimate outdoor or indoor tool for MMA boxing and kickboxing workouts. Children particularly like the shield, one because it's light, like all kick shields, but they can really relate to the fact it's a man with a face. So rather than trying to sell to children and to a lot of beginners as well, you know, the concept of focus pads and what you're kicking a shield or a bag, you've got to imagine what's going on. It's very good for a trainer to be coming at you with a man shield and you can really relate to it quickly what's going on. Um, also, the fact you can land uppercuts and elbows and knees in here really makes a big difference to your martial arts training. So the man shield, well, it's, a, it's a different concept to your kick shields, but it's worth mentioning if you're looking for the sort of the top of the, top of the grade, uh, commercial grade product of something that's universal for your, your gym, and more importantly, I think, something that gives your gym the edge and a point of difference, then probably the man shield is what I'd choose as the ultimate shield. Just be aware there are imitations of this. They look the same, except they're not allowed to copy this patent pending chin. So they will have a flat face here just made of foam. So it'll just be the outline of a man. Whereas a man shield, the original man shield, has a full soft face and allows you to do proper boxing. Also, when you use this on the ground, it doesn't rock from side to side. You'll find the other ones with it, which have copied this, when you punch them, they'll actually spin off and they're pretty hard to control. So oh, I'm not trying to poo-poo everyone else's design. This is exclusive to punch and we've found it a real winner for enjoyment in your training.